So now I'm going to teach you about the specimen of foot, especially the sole aspect. The muscles in the sole. This can be asked in the YOC as well as in the sporting exams. So here you're seeing is like we have two specimens, right and left. I mean, you know, right, uh, both of them are the right foot. So you latch hold of your, uh, this specimen in your right hand. This is the dissected specimen of right side of the foot. This is the dissected specimen of right sided foot. So now in the sole actually, sole is like continuation of the posterior compartment of the leg. This, one, this you should be sure of because the nerves and vessels on the back of the leg, they actually cross the flexor retinaculum here. It's from the calcaneum and reaching to this medial border, posterior border of the medial calcaneum, medial malleolus. There's a band here called the flexor retinaculum. It's all not well properly dissected. It's all the circuitous things here. But what I'm telling is for your revision purpose. So keep listening, keep understanding. So soul is actually a continuation of the back of leg with the same neurovascular bundle with the same few long tendons also from the back of leg reach to the sole got it and because of calcaneum here this is it said that few of the tendons get detached from the back of leg and they are actually a detached portion of few of the muscles of the back of leg there's only one muscle from the lateral compartment of the leg which reaches into the sole and you know that is erroneous longus. Okay, so here again, once again, you can see this as I was telling that when you first of all, when you see the specimen from above, you can see this one is tibia, right? And the tibia, you know, the anteromedial surface is subcutaneous and there is, pero, you know, this one is the fibula it's this the interosseous membrane right this interosseous membrane here and then this muscle this muscle you see is the the deepest muscle of the back of leg or you can also call it as the central muscle of the leg and this is tibialis posterior and remember from the posterior aspect this is the intermediate layer of the two muscles right so uh, what arises from tibia posteriorly is you know ex, uh, flexor digitorum longus and what arises from fibula what arises from fibula posteriorly this muscle is flexor hallucis longus remember that you know fibula is towards the toes and tibia is towards the greater toe but the long tendons are crossing from the opposite bones for the digits the muscle arises from tibia for the greater toe the flexor muscle arises from back of fibula so that means it's it's for sure that these two tendons will actually decussate or you can say cross each other because this muscle flexor hallucis longus from fibula will reach like this towards the greater toe and the muscle arises from fibula it will reach to the flexor digitorum longus will leave there so this crossing now the question is like you know where does this tendon of you know flexor digitorum longus it actually crosses from below to this tendon which tendon is this this one is flexor hallucis longus on the sole i'll tell you so this actually crossing happens below the spring ligament to reinforce the strength of the spring ligament remember it's become it's the summit of the medial longitudinal arch okay so that was from to begin from here then you're finding is this medial malleolus from below to these these tendons will emerge out actually this one is not a good specimen you're not actually seeing the tendons so let's look the structures in this specimen okay so here saying is the medial malleolus by the way in case okay we'll uh, talk about the malleolus in other portion of my lecture not right now so look here now this this is tibialis anterior don't forget this was from the front of leg okay now from back of leg you can see that remember the mnemonic to doctors never happy remember tom dick and harry whatever whatever mnemonics you may remember it, the way you want to learn it so the medial most structure this emerging out will be tibialis posterior 
So tibialis posterior, I told you, it's the deep muscle in the back of the leg. It arises from below like this. Now look here, this tibialis posterior is actually uh, reaching into the deeper aspect of the soul, right? So this is tibialis anterior and you know it directly reaches to the navicular bone and from that navicular bone it spreads out its aponeurotic expansion to all the plantar aspect of all the tarsal bones except talus and even it just spreads and reaches to the base of the middle three metatarsals and remember it if it's asked like what is the detached portion of presumably the detached portion of tibialis posterior is the medial head of flexor hallucis brevis is said to be the detached portion of tibialis posterior the nerve supply you need not worry much all the muscles in the back of leg they are all innervated by tibial nerve that's a simple answer for tibialis posterior also the nerve supply will be tibialis posterior now look here the other muscles here coming out like you know this muscle you can see when i'm pulling it you know you can also confirm the actually muscles by pulling the tendons so when i'm pulling this right can you see the tendon that is being you know stretched here it's going to this side right so this is being stretched so that means this one is flexor digitorum longus right flexor digitorum both of them actually have been split it out both of them remember you can try and pull it out the same thing is happening here also this is going deep inside this is the splitted portion actually both of them together they are uh, flexor uh, digitorum longus right the you know the posterior post tendon the posterior most tendon emerging out of flexor adenoculum will be yes so this one is flexor hallucis is longer it's coming from the um, fibula remember and let me tell you that this this muscle flexor digitorum longus actually crosses in its course it actually crosses two muscles it crosses tibialis posterior also remember because it's the medial most muscle but it is emerging second what emerges first is tibialis posterior so that means that flexor digitorum longus will be crossing this tendon of tibialis posterior also like this and where was this crossing happening it was happening before the two tendons you know passes below the retinaculum so above to the retinaculum you know flexor digitorum long uh, digitorum longus will cross, will cross the tendon of tibialis posterior then after emerging out of the retina coulomb, now flexor digitorum longus will cross the tendon of flexor hallucis longus. Here you see this is the tendon of flexor hallucis longus. How do you identify? It will be the posterior most, you know, from the retina coulomb, the posterior most tendon out, emerging out. And this is, you know, passing deep down. And this is the tendon, which, you know, it will pass below the spring ligament and it will pass straight and will reach to the terminal phalange onto the plantar aspect of the greater toe. So obviously the action will be, prime action will be flexion of the terminal IP joint of the greater toe. Secondary action will be, you know, flexion of metatarsal because there is no proximal IP joint in the thumb, in the greater toe. So it will be, the next action will be flexion of metatarsal phalangeal joint and flexion of the ankle joint. And the extensor digitorum longus, flexion of the terminal IP, uh, IP joints, second reaction, flexion of proximal IP joints, then flexion of metatarsal phalangeal joints, then flexion of ankle joints. So, uh, you know, action wise, if they ask, is uh, obviously uh, all of them are passing behind the medial malleolus, entering into the sole from the medial aspect. So, they will also help in medial, maintaining the medial longitudinal arch of the foot. And in case of tibialis posterior, don't forget because I told you it's inserting, reaching to navicular, spreading to all the bones, so it accepts the talus, it actually grips the tar uh, tarsal bones, all of them packing up together. And that helps to maintain the posterior transverse arch integrity of the 
posterior transverse arch as well. So tibial, post, uh, tibialis posterior also contributes in maintenance of the posterior transverse arch of the foot. Okay, so nerve supply for all of them, the four, the four muscles that are the three muscles rather, uh, I have told you, which are reaching from the back of the inner sole, they will be by tibial nerve. Out of these, remember that flexor hallucis is longus, this one, and flexor digitum longus. These two tendons will form the muscle of the second layer of the sole, while tibialis posterior will form the muscle of the fourth layer of the sole, the deepest layer, along with peroneus longus from the other side. Now talking about the sole, now in the sole need not worry much in the sole because they will they wouldn't because then the deeper structures are not at all actually visible. So what can we ask like in, in spotting like the only the superficial things that are visible. So one thing is if you find any muscular belly or a fleshy muscle on the middle border of the foot extending right along the length of the middle border. So this will be the muscle of the first layer of the sole and that is abductor hallucis. Clear? Abductors actually form the first layer of the sole. Similarly, if there are any muscle in the sole which is running along the lateral border of the sole, so that will be abductor digiti minimi. Remember, abductors form the first layer of the sole. And in between, in between, if they ask, like you know, the deeper tendons actually, the straightway running tendons like this, because remember the obliquely running tendons down below. If you see, there's these obliquely running tendons. Those obliquely running tendons will be of flexor digitorum longus. But the straight running tendons, these straight running tendons, if they ask, this will be of flexor digitorum brevis right this is flexor digitorum brevis now the nerve supply for the abductors and flexor digitorum brevis by median plantar nerve this is the little plantar nerve that i'll tell you in theory portion it's not tough it's also easy okay yeah in this specimen can you see in this specimen it's not well dissected it is like a lot of fat here remember the special things about the skin of the sole like skin of the sole is a thick skin just like the skin of the palms okay so when you talk about the thick skin remember in histology i taught you there are five layers in the epidermis in thin skin which is actually a hairy skin we have only four layers in the epidermis what additional layer you have in a thick skin is statum lucidum which make the skin translucent. So if you press upon the skin on the palm or on the sole, you find the bloodish tinge. So which you're not seeing on the dorsum of the hand or anywhere else on the body. The hairy skin is a thin, thin skin. The skin on the palm and sole is a thick skin. It has four, uh, it has five layers. An additional layer is stratum lucidum. So one thing about the skin of the sole, you've got to know. Then the skin of the sole and palm are rich in, you know, sweat glands. So this is, this is having much more sweat glands compared to the skin, the hairy skin. Then actually, you know, there are deep ligaments binding the skin to the deep fascia. And actually, you know, if you remove the skin here, it will be a thick band of, you know, uh, upper neurotic expansion of the plantaris. It is said to be a detached portion of plantaris and that's plantar upper neurosis, which also has been reflected out. So in case just, Look here, which muscle is this? Like even in spotting, if they ask like, which muscle is this? Which muscle is this? Easy. As I told you, if a muscle, if you found a muscle around the entire length of the medial border of the sole, it is abductor hallucis, right? Abductor hallucis, brevis also you can say. Otherwise, it abductor hallucis is enough. Then you have this, muscle here this is straight running tendons i told you you find the tendons running straight then it is flexor digitorum brevis this muscle in between the little is the little side is not been dissected out so this side is this side it will be abductor dgt minimi muscles i believe you all know the first layer that's the uh, of the sole just fast revision we have three muscles all of them are intrinsic muscles the two sides you have, you know, medial one is the 
abductor hallucis brevis literally you have abductor digiti minimi in between you have is the flexor digitorum brevis those all you know the three muscles are intrinsic the fourth layer you have you know you know in the fourth layer you have the two long tendons flexor hallux is longus flexor digitorum longus and to straight the pull of flexor digitorum longus you have flexor digitorum accessorius as well as the lumbar icles okay uh, then down deep below uh, the third layer again is intrinsic and that's called the flexor layer where you have flexor hallux is brevis flexor digitorum brevis flexor digiti minimi as well as adductor hallux all of them are intrinsic muscles remember the flexor layer actually is seen only in the distal half of the foot then what maintains this you know uh, anterior transverse arch of the foot the muscle that maintains this arch is adductor hallux and the deepest layer i told you the two tendons one is tibialis posterior from the medial side and peroneus longus from the lateral side and the your palmar uh, uh, plantar interossei <coughs> three in number all unipinnate and dorsal interossei four in number they are all bipinnates so you will be understanding what all i am telling you maybe fast but if you have already read about all these structures then only you, this will be helpful because just you know, as a beginner if you seeing this you might be in, not be understanding it well enough because this is the a video which you, you can watch before going to your practical exams that means you are already studied about these structures okay so that was about the muscles actually the deeper muscles which are not seen here so all this can be asked in your spotting exams i believe you have looked <coughs> all the structures you can once again you have seen okay so i think uh, i should leave it and that ho jata hai okay so that was all about the posterior compartment and the sole